Today, we will be looking at Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 7 to 8, where it talks about how to be like a tree planted by the water. I pray this video will bless you. And to receive more videos like this, please consider subscribing to this channel. God bless. Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8 says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Jeremiah 17 focuses on the sin of Judah and provides sayings on the issues of life, sin, and the way of curse and of blessing. The picture of someone planted by the water must be the same description of a follower of Christ as well. You see, it is a beautiful picture of someone rooted and in love with God. In verse 8, it describes the result of being planted by the water. When your roots are sent out by the stream, you do not fear the heat when it comes. Your leaves will remain green and you will not be anxious in the year of drought because you do not cease to bear fruit. In other words, all the seasons of life will hit you for sure. It is a sure thing. Seasons of plenty, seasons of storms, seasons of pain and suffering, seasons of sickness and everything else that life can throw at you. But the one who is planted by the water will continue to remain fruitful and without anxiety. Amen. So how can you be like this fruitful tree by the water? Jeremiah 17, 7 states that it is by trusting in the Lord. In fact, it is repeated twice in this verse, increasing its importance. Notice it does not say that you will only receive blessings when you trust in the Lord and you will not face any struggles or troubles. Instead, you are sure to face them, but you will not be moved when it hits you. The opposite of trusting in the Lord is to trust in man or to trust in yourself. That is a curse to trust in man and to make flesh your strength, according to Jeremiah 17 verse 5. If you put your trust in man, the picture given is the opposite of one that is planted by the water. Instead, this person will be like a shrub in the desert and will not see any good come, living in parched places of the wilderness and an uninhabited salt land, according to Jeremiah 17 verse 6. In other words, nothing good will come out of it. For a time you may be green, but it will not produce valuable fruit. When struggle comes, they will burn you and dry you up without any nourishment or hope. It is a dismal picture. So don't put your trust in the wisdom, power, kindness or faithfulness of man. When you depend on man, spiritual life cannot thrive. You will stunt your growth and you will never be able to thrive. Trusting in God, on the other hand, means to trust in His Word. Psalm chapter 9 verse 10 says, And those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. You can only trust Him if you know Him. To know Him, you need to spend time in the Bible and seek Him with all your heart. He must become the treasure of your life because then you can trust him and he will never forsake you and never forsake those who do put their trust in him. Hallelujah. Again, this whole scenario is beautifully captured in Psalm chapter 1 uh, verses 1 to 4. So let's begin. In f firstly, in Psalm 1, 1 to 2, it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sits 
in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. The man who delights in the law of the Lord, in other words, scriptures, and he who meditates on his law day and night is blessed. And so this blessing is then described in Psalm chapter 1 verse 3 where it says, He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. So the one who does not delight in his word is described as the wicked. And it says in Psalm chapter 1 verse 4, it says, The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. So in conclusion, examine your heart. Jeremiah 1, 9-10 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. So do not be a Christian who by their mouth declares their trust is in God, but their confidence uh, in actual fact is in man's wisdom and strength. Instead, your heart must desire Christ, delighting in the word of God and meditating on it day and night. As you do so, you will know the name of God and by faith trust Him. Then you will be like a tree planted by the water, strong, fruitful, and continually growing in the Lord, regardless of the seasons or the storms. Otherwise, you will be like the shaft that the wind drives away. So I pray that this video has blessed you and I encourage you to put your entire and complete and full trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.